Hello guys and welcome to this review uh, and today I'm going to show you the keyboard which is called Drevo it is a 75% keyboard so let's open it up so here it is let me just open this as you can see it's 75% keyboard so I can just take it out like this ok cool we also have got cable over here which is braided I believe and it has a uh, C jack so let's now go with to the keyboard <coughs> as you can see it came with the white in the white and it has an uh, outer mobile switches here's it in the side so here it is I have never had the mechanical, I mean uh, the clicky switches before um, so this is my first one this is how it sounds like it has a uh, uh, plastic um, the plastic case and an uh, ABS I believe okay, um, keycaps and the, it has rubber feet behind here as you can see and this is kind of like more smooth this is, it is not plastic so it like a rubber so it will not gonna slide so yeah whoa this sounds cool so yeah i have the plastic so it's more deeper sound than aluminium this is why i went with the plastic um it was like uh, 50 euros around with shipping so uh, like the Original price without shipping is 30 euros. Quarantine and stuff. And there is a uh, sticker which I probably gonna put it around here. <laughs> so, yeah, this would be an uh, review for this keyboard. So, here we're back with the keyboard comparison. This is a 75% keyboard and this is a 10 kilos keyboard. So, for the first, we're gonna check how much like the size of it is. So, as you can see, it is. 32 centimeters and this one for comparison is on a 37 so it is a 5 centimeter a bit more larger as this one and uh, so let's get this aside so uh, this keyboard uh, the Revo keyboard came only with a uh, white backlighting and you can change the lights by pressing Fn and arrow keys so this is the zero backlighting which kind of also looks cool and then I think it's like four stages or something I'm not sure and I know that you can also change like the fix by pressing Fn and this one. Oh, this is in a breathing mode finally I got it <laughs> I found it I haven't found it like I've been recording this like before but I was like a bit nervous still I am and I had to like retry everything so this is an uh, uh, this effect then you can go and change it this this is a uh, snake and if, uh, next oh this is an uh, ripple effect it's following you I mean the every key you press it light up and then you have the normal effect I mean the normal and this is kind of it for this keyboard as you can see here is an uh, um, these are turned off and also this one because they are not activated if you activate them the light will go up and um, it also have an, uh, the now lock keys as you can see and you can activate them by pressing Fn and print screen and then you can have the numbers so deactivate I'm gonna to show you the switches of this this is the flare this blue switches and these are the reds I'm gonna show the keyboards a bit later after I done this review for, for this keyboard so um, these are the blue switches flare tech blue sounds like that and then uh, auto move switches sounds like that And I have like the feeling like these are more silent than these ones. 
As I had noticed, um, this keyboard has a little bit more uh, scratchy feeling to like the switches than these keys. Um, also for the typing, I have found out that you can like activate and then deactivate and then you can like type even without uh, making sound. <laughs> and I have also realized that it only clicks on the down click, not on the up click, as you can hear it. Like this keyboard right over here, it clicks on the down and up, down, up. It only clicks on the down click. I also forgot to mention that this keyboard is made out of plastic, like the, the case of it, uh, which makes the switches sound like more deeper uh, than the aluminium. It is also cheaper, like 30 euros, than aluminium case, which is also available, but it, it would be like, I don't know, 20 euros more, so like 50 euros. So I actually ended up getting good money for, I mean, the good price for the quality of this keyboard, so very nice. Um, and about the lighting, I forgot to say that you can like, um, you know, the brightness and shit. Um, you can like make it different, like right now it's like breathing effect. As you can see, there is nothing and there, there it comes back. And you can also set it up for like um, each key individually. Like, I don't know, to having different kind of like effects, like, uh, you know this one and like I should be setting here so this is the normal and then like this and here is a breathing effect FN and this one I mean this one yeah this one is on I mean breathing on and off so you can set like to breathing effect and then each uh, settings I mean like the effect and then save it for each key <clears throat> I might done it like in some other time when I will be like using this keyboard. Um, it is also having an uh, ABS key keys. I'm just gonna to turn down the brightness right like that. So it is having an uh, ABS plastic, which is kind of like looking very good though. It is not like um, it's it seems smooth. This is what I can like describe it as 75% keyboard, which I've been looking after. Like I've been comparing this keyboard with for many other keyboards, like I don't know, seven or eight keyboards. And I ended up getting this one because it's also having like the FN keys, which uh, other keyboards don't have. And it's having an uh, Automo switches, so it's still like not like some shitty switches, but it's not like the, uh, I mean, it's premium switches, this is what I wanted to say, but it's still not, yeah, you know, it's good for the price and everything. And if I would be like searching for like the switches, the switches would be like 10 euros or something. And like the keycaps would be the thing around and like PCB, but like everything put together, 30 euros, I mean, that's a good thing. Um, Maybe in some future we're gonna make my own keyboard. Um, hopefully I will be like making better reviews than right now. <laughs> so if you wanna buy this keyboard, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So we can like check it out. And for the end of this video, I'm going to show you uh, the sound of the switches and me typing on this keyboard.